Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today we have some more of my faction stuff for this week. So we're gonna get right into it. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We post literally every single my faction update that there is. And also this is Jex Gaming. So of course I will be going over all the newest games that drop as well. There's a lot of new games coming out very, very soon. So stay tuned to the channel to stay up to date with all that. And uh yeah, and drop a like on this video. I really appreciate all the likes you guys have been showing on all the videos. It really means a lot to me. It really helps the channel out. And so without further ado, let's just get right into everything, all right? So this week is going to be a okay week. Now, it could turn into something bigger depending on what 2K does, but we're going to go over it. So first off, yes, we have the new DLC coming this week on the 14th, which is what, Wednesday, right? So, you know, I'll be covering that. And so from the looks of it, I'm on the Xbox account, as you guys know. From the looks of it, it seems like, um, have, uh, let me see. Let me see for a second. Yeah, uh, yeah, it seems like the DLCs are starting to get better. So hopefully this time around, the next DLC that we get is a Ruby card, at least. And uh, I can just see them. It I, I think from what I'm assuming, it seems like each dlc pack that comes out we're getting one tier higher and if that's the case hopefully we end up getting to amethyst and diamonds or something like that if so that'll be really cool so that's something i'm pretty much looking forward to for this week is if we can get a ruby card that will be a great sign like honestly like huge because the dlcs are getting better from here we're better superstars and so if they're climbing up the tiers each dlc Hey, once we get to that Bray Wyatt, hopefully we can get him as a Ruby or a, I mean not Ruby, as an Amethyst or a Diamond or, or uh, I don't know how many DLCs are left, but if we have another uh, extra one, we can get to Pink Diamond. So I hope that's that's the case. So let's all hope that this DLC has a couple Rubies and uh, we'll be good to go. So hopefully they don't cap us off at Rubies. Hopefully they actually go to Amethyst as well. So. That's probably one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to for this week. And uh, I'm definitely excited for that, all right? Obviously, I might as well talk about it because a lot of you guys always still talk about it. The token market, I do not think it's going to go live this week. I do not think it's going to go live this week. I can see it going live later this month, possibly. But I'm not getting my hopes up for anytime soon for it. So I'm just letting you guys know that now. I don't expect it to happen anytime soon, all right? Now, we got the weekly towers as well with 3,700 MFP points. Already finished this on my PlayStation account. It was pretty easy other than the Iron Man match that you had to do against Shawn Michaels, which was just annoying, like 15 minutes, really. Like, the 2K will do anything possible to make sure that you're on this game at least an hour, hour and a half to two hours. Because, I mean, it's a weekly towers. Like, let, let's, just, let's just play one-on-one -on -one against other opponents and just get it over with. Not no 15 minute Iron Man match that you're gonna win. I, I think I like, what won 20 to zero against <laughs> against Shawn Michaels on that match. So it was just it was just like a waste of time. But we got it done, and it's good to get it out the way. So for all the people that are still playing Weekly Towers, make sure you guys stay up to date with everything because we are already getting Ruby cards, and we're gonna get more and more. And once we get to Pink Diamond cards, you're gonna want to get those Weekly. Well, not weekly, but every four weeks, there's going to be a new card. So you're going to want those weekly tower rewards, though. It's going to get better and better and better as the time goes on. So don't, don't you know, lack on this mode because you're going to regret it once, you know, week 30 comes. And you're going to have to grind all of this to try and get a diamond card. So it's, it's not going to be worth it. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, stay, like, you know, up to date with weekly towers, all right? And next up we have live events to talk about live events pretty cool we got some cool stuff happening as you guys already know the roman reigns card is available now i don't qualify for it on my playstation account i don't have it so i'm pretty much out of luck with it so hey it is what it is it sucks but it is what it is you know what i'm saying good luck to all the people that are going to be getting that solo card like i said i will be staying up to date with the event so as the event continues i will be showcasing all the new cards and rewards as always and so uh yeah this greg miller card really good if you haven't gone for it go for it 
This card right here is a must have. Even if he's not compatible with the superstar that you have, he is still a must have card. Definitely go for it. If you don't have a This Is Awesome card, open up a pack, get a card, and then bam, you'll be good to go. This is definitely worth it. I say out of everything this week, like this current lineup for the um, live event rewards, this is the card you should go for most definitely because this card will help you out way more than this solo event card because obviously once we get better cards and stuff, this manager is going to be even more useful. Like my team right now, my PlayStation account, everybody has, I believe, a 99 finisher or close. Might be one person, might be one or two superstars that don't have a 99, but most of them have 99 stats. Really good. This this card's really useful. So highly recommend you guys go for it, all right? And next up, now this is the biggest part of the video, all right? This is the biggest part of the video right here. Okay, so we have more live events, obviously. The solo events still finishing up and stuff. But also, we got this Ricochet card that if you guys missed out on the last videos that I've been posting, make sure you guys check them out on how to get these super card themed cards. Really cool event. I love these free events, especially with 2K collaborating with Supercard and making these dope cards for my faction users. Really cool. I really like the design. And especially as a Supercard fan, I really like this. So, hey, I'm all for it. <laughs> Hopefully, they do more. But from the looks of it, we might just get one supercar collaboration a year with 2k so we won't see the next one until 2k24 which sucks but hopefully we can get some more card events like this like a locker code event or even just something like i don't know like make it to where if i don't why don't they do this they make they, here's the thing they make these live events so difficult like by making you open up packs you're forced to open up packs to get this card luckily i'm qualified for this eddie guerrero card but the, you know, it might be hard for some people to get this Chad, Chad, um, Chad Gable card. And and it's crazy because if, if, they're, if they're trying to make it difficult for us to get some of these cards, why not make it to where, hey, you have to finish Proven Grounds and get the newest Proven Grounds reward in order to get a new card, a new diamond card in live events. They should do that because not only will people play the game more, but it'll encourage people to finish these events and yeah you know what i'm saying that, that like i just think that that's the best decision for them to make make cards locked behind weekly towers live events proving grounds uh a faction wars and then make them as card requirements instead of all these packs you know but hopefully they do that and time will tell like i said because here's the good thing here's the good thing about all this right obviously we have some more cards that i already went over on my last video all these dope cards are coming I'm pretty sure by the end of this week, we will have a new batch of live event rewards because it seems like every week, like later on in that week, we'll get new live event rewards. So I'm assuming, I mean, unless I'm tripping, unless these are all the future live event rewards that we're going to get and they're not updating it until next week, I still think that we might get some more cards added and hopefully it's more of the super card theme cards requirements. Because right now, they only have this Roman Reigns card, and I know we got some more other cards. So, hopefully, those other cards that we get, hopefully, that is another card requirement for the next live event, you know, reward. So, that'll be pretty cool. And last but not least, I've been getting a couple messages on Twitter going over these Cash In Collective packs right here, as you guys can see. Obviously, shout out to Debug NFT on Twitter for leaking those packs. If you guys don't know, I already covered these packs. Uh, um, um, can't remember how long ago. If you guys want to check out that video, make sure you guys go ahead and check out that video. Shout out to Debug NFT on Twitter for that, for this. So um, these packs should go live next week. Not this week because we got packs last week. And if you don't know, we get packs every two weeks in this game. So I'm sure that these will be the new packs that we get for next week. But hey, if we get them this week, that'll be even doper. So we'll see what happens from there. But that was it for this Monday's you know, review for my faction. You know, this is how we do it every Monday. You know what I'm saying? We go over all the new stuff that's happening. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I think my controller just died. My Xbox controller literally just died. What the heck? Well, anyways, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm signing out. Peace.